Oh, so much has been said, Norm, about Hardy already. Um, we were talking about this in the office. I almost wish he just would, wouldn't speak at all rather than to insult everyone's intelligence by going through that song and dance after the game. I very much agree. And Hardy, that wasn't the only thing today. He apparently pushed some players on the, on the field. He pushed an assistant coach on the sideline during the game. Dez was apparently just trying to calm him down yeah. a little bit. Dez didn't have anything to do with this. And, but the post-game thing, I'm sorry, but that's a king-size jerk. If you don't have anything to say, when the reporters get to your locker, just say, hey, just today, but I don't have anything to say. Don't waste your time coming over to see me. I don't have anything to say. And that's the end of it. I mean, reporters respect stuff like that. And... And I don't see why he has to make that kind of show of himself. No, and, and again, and, and, we, and we debate about Dez on this, too. You know, Garrett said it's passion. It's passion. But there's a time when you cross the line, and, and it obviously becomes counterproductive. And, and Hardy did that today, both, both during the game and then after the game with his little performance. You know, Deuce, I'm really glad you asked about that. Are we saying that Jason Witten doesn't no, have passion? I, I, exactly. Are we saying Travis Frederick or, or Barry Church doesn't have passion? That just because you don't yell and scream during a game doesn't mean you are any less passionate about the game. No, no, exactly. All right, enough time uh, to, to, to that. Again, you'll be hearing much more about it during the week. Let's go big picture here, Norm. Uh, four straight losses without Romo. Cowboys two and four, last place in the NFC East. Washington uh, three and four now. Dallas a game and a half behind the Giants. Uh, three more without Romo. Seattle at home next week. Philly at home on a Sunday night in two weeks. Then a game at Tampa Bay. Are you in a position, if you're Dallas, where you pretty much have to win two of three, get to four and five when Romo comes back to, to really have a chance to stay relevant in this thing? Well, let's look at the alternative. Let's say you win only one of the three. You are then three and six. You then say to Romo, well, with five games remaining, I, I, I don't know what you say to win them all. Yeah. Uh, you know, win four of the five. Uh, I, we're we're building a situation here for Romo, and and Dez when the, and he comes uh -huh. back with him. That standings wise, you're digging yourself a hole. Seattle's going to be a hard game next week, but what's in our rearview mirror is we could have beaten Atlanta, could have beaten New Orleans, could have beaten the Giants, and didn't. Yeah, that's that's exactly right, and and that uh, that changes the whole dynamic. And and Whedon may still be the quarterback had that had that happen. How long, okay, when Romo returns, how long will it be before any fans criticize Tony Romo after this? Boy, First interception? <laughs> you know, um, several people have emailed me saying that very thing, saying, if anything, this helps us understand what we actually had. Is he the greatest quarterback in the league? No. Does he belong on Tier 2? Yeah, I think so.